Hey everybody, welcome to our next Tuesday Facebook Live demo and kind of a little chat about some new products that are coming out and I uh, hope everybody is well. Hey Charlotta, number one as always. <laughs> Tonight we're going to make this little book out of the notebook. I haven't finished decorating it yet, but I have a couple ideas. And I also got something from my favorite place, the Dollar Tree. So I'll show you how you can use those two things to make this cute little, little notebook list pad. And the reason that I kind of thought about doing this was I was over at my mom's. Hi, Joellen and Elizabeth, Laura. Uh, and she needed somewhere to just write down notes. You know, I was using post-it notes and I brought them home for some reason. I, they were in my with my labeler. Hey Kathleen, Renee, Karen, good to see you all. I have had such a long day. We went out to the beach last night because the renters, um, they finally are gone and um, I don't know, I got bitten by a mosquito, I think. Um, anyway, they were gone. We wanted to kind of take a look at the beach house and see how it fared, but not bad. Um, you know, a couple things were weird and somebody, you know, sat on our couch in their bathing suit and pretty much messed that up, which we're going to have to get one of those um, cleaner things. So anyway, aside from that, all is well. So I hope everybody out there is doing well and uh, oh, it's just a busy week. Hey, Loretta, good to see you. You're up late. Hi, Christy. How are you? There's John Diane. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, well, let me just show you a couple of the things that we're going to use. And these actually could work with a couple of other of the uh, journals. We're going to make it out of the, hey, there's Tony and Lisa. Uh, we're going to use the notebook die just because it's so fast. But it also would work with the folio journal. And I had a cool idea for that. Hey, Lisa. Oh, good. Hi, Sue. It would work with the wrap journal. There's Shirley, I haven't seen you in a while, Shirley. And also it's pretty tight, but it would work with the passport book. There's Anna and Charlene. How's Charlene from Ireland? Um, we're also gonna use the Easy Cut Adhesive. Hi, Katharina. There's Leslie. And also, now I'm going to use these uh, mixed media sheets tonight. Um, somebody just asked something. Uh-oh, I missed it. Let me see. Hey, there's Jane. Look at this. Everybody's here. This is so nice. The Tuesday Reunion Club. That's what we should call it. Um, also, I kind of wanted to talk about, and maybe we should do that now. There's Barbara. Hi, and Angie. Uh, they always do this. They sneak these products out before we're supposed to do it, but I should be used to it by now. But we have a new release for, oh good, I'm glad you're doing well, Charlene. Um, we have our chapter three release stuff coming out. It's actually not out until October 1st. So I was thinking that on the suggestion of Leslie, actually, that we do another pre-order. So I'm kind of working on that right now, but I just wanted to show you what the dies look like. I'm not gonna do samples or anything right now, but I'm excited about all of them because I, I always am, because it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just fun to see another batch of stuff come out. So now this one is the one that you guys seem to have the most questions about. Hey, Tanya, how are you? Um, this is called the full size journal and this one measures, uh, where's the thing? I think it's six and a quarter. I can never find where they have all this stuff. Eight and three quarters by six and a quarter by one inch. So this is big. Oh, there's Anne. Hey Anne and Cassie, how are you? So uh, we're talking about the chapter three release that's coming out the end of the month, beginning of the month. You know, we usually do our release party will be October 1st. So yeah, this is a fun one because I did get this one out to show you. This one done out of leather is just amazing. And 
This is the 3D folder, the sweater pattern. Isn't that... This one does not cut the pages, but I will tell you that a lot of the, like, Dollar Tree and, um, uh-oh, losing sound. Chapter 4? Is this Chapter 4? <laughs> Sorry, Tony. Is it really? Yeah, Chapter 4. Sorry. Oh, man, I'm losing it. It's been a long week, month, year. Um, these I found, hey, Jackie Smith from Edmonton. Uh, these I found at, uh, I think, might have been Home Goods, but it could be Tuesday morning. I'm not sure. But they a lot of these will fit, and they're called A5. So, yeah, that folder is really fun. So this one is, this is the biggest book I've done. Now, this is as tall as the journal. So the Traveler's Notebook, but it's wider. So it's like half, again, the, the width of it. So this is really like a serious journal. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, for photos, it would be great. And you could do either orientation, you know. So, yeah, this one I'm excited about. I'm always excited. But um, it also comes with this latch. It comes with a pen loop. And it also comes with these little kind of charm things that you can also use as um, label pieces to go across here. You know, there's a lot of, there's actually a lot of pieces on here. It is a beast, Tony. <laughs> it is, I mean, I just think of this made out of leather. This thing would last you forever. This would make such a cool gift. I mean, for somebody very special. No, Janelle, all right, now that is the question. Does it fit in the big shot? No. Um. I'm not sure, Mona. I don't have a Spellbinders Platinum. Does anybody else have one? The die, it's uh, nine inches, I think. Let me, let me measure the width of the die. I think, I'm pretty sure it's nine inches wide. Yes. Like a tiny bit less than nine inches. So you have to use a Big Shot Plus or Big Shot Pro. The Pro is a 12 inch, 47 pound machine. I have one and it definitely would fit. Um, but if you have the plus, it will work in there too. Okay. So, you know, unfortunately it will not fit in your Big Shot. Uh, price point is $49.99. I saw it as $57.99, Tony. I don't know where you saw it. I just saw it on Sizzix. So I believe them. Um, yes, leather keychains would be amazing. Yeah. So, uh, you got a huge cutter for eight and a half inches. I don't think that's going to fit. And it is a, a steel rule die, so it's thick. Um, so I'm not sure what other machines it would work in, but I've got the Big Shot Plus and the Big Shot Pro, and they would both work in that. Now, for those who don't have that machine, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to be cutting um, sample, you know, I'll be cutting, pre-cutting and selling the cut parts. So all you have to do is, you know, you can just decorate them. You can, well, you can't really emboss them if you don't have the plus machine because it's, it's just wide. It will fit in the large Spellbinders Platinum. Okay. Thanks, Tony. That's good to know. Um, I, you know, I just don't have, how many machines do you need? <laughs> I know a lot of you have them, but mine are all Sizzix. Uh, and even the Plus, you know, I do use that fairly regularly. I like it because it has good pressure. So if I'm going to um, emboss, I like the pressure. Uh, will it fit in your Sizzix die cutting? Mary Beth, if you've got the Big Shot Plus or the Pro. Oh, you broke your Big Shot Plus. Uh, you know what? Actually, I was talking with... Um, uh, Sharon Curtis, or I saw that she had posted and, uh, she is gonna, they, she says that on Create and Craft next week, they have them on sale. I'm not sure what the price is, but, uh, they will be on sale. And these are also coming up, but I, I'm not sure when they're coming out, um, on Create and Craft. They will at some point, but if you want them soon, you know, um, somebody just had a question that I missed. Oh, Oh, will I do more? I, you know, it's kind of hard to know. Um, I would like to, but I'm not sure. And I think this will be a good test to see how many people 
have the machine. Um, this one is on tomorrow's show? I don't know, Shirley. Hmm. Okay. I had not heard that. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm behind the times. I thought it was coming out in April, but uh, do you think it will work in those old school machines? I d oh, for if it's not, this is the thing. The die itself is nine inches wide. Um, so if you don't have a machine that can do nine inches wide, no, it's not going to work. Um, somebody is asking what you can use. Now, a lot of people in, I know in the UK, a lot of you guys, um, get your mat board from like frame shops. And I know that Hobby Lobby carries mat board. So you would have to cut it wider. Sizzix is not going to sell the larger sheets of mat board. So you will have to find your own material. There are sources, you can go on Amazon and get chipboard. You, uh, you know, there are all kinds of places now with, you know, getting stuff online, it's really easy to find it. So what you want is something that is about 1 16th of an inch thick. Okay, so that would be a heavy duty chipboard, which you could cover with paper. In fact, we're gonna do that tonight. We're gonna use chipboard. Okay, you purchased Mapboard on Amazon. Okay, so see, there, you know, it's the day of Amazon. <laughs> you can pretty much get anything. Okay, good. And they have colors. That would be cool. Okay. Hey, Kim. So, anyway, that is the scoop on this die. And, you know, I, I will be putting leather in the shop in this size, too, because oh, <laughs> ice cream and watching Eileen all. Um, you know this is, it's going to be fun. So if you can't get it, I will have cuts. I know that's right, Tanya. I have like a couple packs. They edged three sheets of the 12 by 12 because that worked with the pro dies. And I did have a good number of pro dies. I don't know, maybe six or seven. And then it kind of, uh, you know, went to the wayside. Um, you want to see the notepad die coming out. Okay, let's go to that one. All right, so if you have any more questions, just ask. Okay, here's the little notepad. This one is so cute and so fast. Uh, it fits. You're going to have to cut two covers, but I think you can see here. And Anne was asking, will it hold the 3x3 three three, um, post-it notes? Yes, yes, it will. So it also has a little loop. Um, you can orient it either direction, actually. They, when I did, we did the packaging, um, they put it sideways, so it was like a book, and I was like, no, no, put it this way so it looks more like a notepad. I don't know if that even matters, but you can orient it in any direction, okay? So it can go that way or that way. Um, that one measures, uh, where did I put that thing? Here it is. This one is three three and three quarters by four and a half so oops I can't really see what that was but as a framer the map board at Hobby Lobby is perfect because it is a bit thinner yeah I think they do kind of a lower quality but that's fine you know I I have a lot of good quality map board but I prefer the cheaper stuff, it just works better. When you get the heavier duty or the, well, I, I'll say the nicer quality mat board, there's more cotton in it and it frays and it's like, ugh, it's not as good. So um, the Sizzix mat board is actually pretty good. Okay, so let's talk about a couple other things. This is, uh-oh, you fell out the, whoa, your, sh <laughs> your big shot fell out of your car. Jeez. All right. So this is the mandala. And I think I put one somewhere. This is what it looks like. It's pretty, but I learned my lesson. Hey, Alice Walls. I learned my lesson um, with the other mandala that the pieces were too pokey. It took forever. So this one has, it has a couple little parts, but you know, it's easier to pick this out. <laughs> just because it drives me crazy. And here's another look at the sweater pattern. And this is, I think I'm the most excited about that. Look at that, can you see that? So I think of Jenny Atkinson and her knitting. Yeah, 
and that's what it looks like. This is on the Sizzix paper, which is really, really cool. Why did they name it the Heart Mandala? You know what? I named it. And they're actually, it started out as a heart. And if you look at it, they're, it's, it's hearts. There are four hearts around a circle. Anyway, it did mutate a little, but that's, I named it and they believed me and <laughs> off we went. I'm trying to think of where, because I was looking at it before. I'm like, it looks like kind of leaves. It looks like, but I think these shapes here were hearts that I kind of ranged in four ways. <laughs> anyway, yes, the knitting. Well, good. I'm glad you guys like them all and they're going to work together. Like you can see, like, you know, on the cover of the journal. Now this did take some arranging, like you'll see on the back here because the, the folder only went to here. So I did learn some things on that. Um, and I'll show you how I did this. So maybe we'll do a class or something because this was a little tricky, you know, um, getting it perfect for the packaging anyway. But I did learn some things along the way. Leather is always fun. And so I'll cut some um, pieces that could work to make a journal and I'll sell that in Etsy. So then maybe we could do that together. Okay. So, and does anybody else have questions? Does, do they have new releases? Ah, wait a minute. On sale. No, they can't do them on sale. Uh, and what I'm going to do is probably do free shipping. You know, so if you buy all of them, you get the free shipping because that's what we've been doing. That seems to work pretty well. I also have stamps coming out, so I'm trying to get all this stuff lined up, but um, there's a lot going here. My mom is settling into the, the assisted living, but I've got to, I've been up there almost every day and, you know, talking to the doctors and trying to get her all figured out. So anyway, she's doing great. She loves it. And uh, I think she's really kind of making friends. And so that's very good because, you know, that would be scary if she didn't know anybody, she didn't like it. So next week she's going to go to the beach and I'm going to go up to New York and hopefully get her house on the market or something. Ah, <sighs> so anyway, that is the deal. So, um, unless you have any more questions on this and you can, oh, wait a minute, maybe I missed same height as the traveler's notebook. Wait, let me see if I missed anything. Sorry. I'm putting my finger on here. Uh, good. Chris Flint. How are you? Thank you. I just lost you guys. All right. I didn't know I could swoop up. Sorry. I'm trying to get, see if I missed anything. I think I did. Hey, Gina. Yeah. Okay. So if you have questions, you know what, let, let's turn the camera around and, uh, let's, oh man. All right. Let's see if um, we can make, Yes, it is good that mom is getting situated. I feel really good about that. All right, so let me show you what we're gonna make again, since we've been talking about. Yes, this will be the pre-order set. Hey, Jerry Ann, how are you? Um, this is what we're making tonight. It's just a little notebook, and I liked it because I got this pack of notepads at Dollar Tree, they're a dollar, and they fit exactly inside this book. I couldn't believe it. I laid it in there. I'm like, what? So I had to, uh, had to make some. So I just want to show you how we're going to do that. We're going to use gift wrap and we're going to use, uh, some chipboard and you could use map board, but the chipboard is a little thinner and I think it just feels better. It opens and closes better. So we're using a mixed media board another score for Dollar Tree. However, I will say I had to go to the beach to find these. I had some and then I, um, I used them or, you know, uh, and, but I knew that they still had them somewhere. And on the one, the place in Denton today on the way home, I found some in there. So I was happy because I wanted to show you the, um, colors that they come in and actually, there's like three kinds of pinks. So there's like a mauve one. I don't know if you can even see the difference here, but one is like neon, one is like the mauve, and this one is, they just opened a pop shelf store. What is that? What? I don't know what a pop shelf is, but I hope we get them, oh, Leslie. Um, and then this was kind of weird. They had the yellow and like a 
kind of a cool manila color. And look at the difference in the width of these. I don't know why. Oh, Dollar General owns them. Okay. Uh, so you kind of have to fiddle with them and see what's going to fit inside. So I am probably going to go with one of these pinks because I decided to use some gift wrap to make mine just to be different. And I've gotten this really pretty pink foil. I don't know if you can see it. This I got it like home goods and yeah, it, and you could easily find paper to go with it. But these were kind of some of the pretty ones that I had. And I thought about using that one. I might have. Um, this one I like, but it's kind of a big pattern, so I'm not sure if that would work. Um, and then this one was kind of cool. I was thinking for an autumn one. It's like a burlap paper. I got a Target. And then this other one I've never used, but I thought maybe I would make one for my mom because she likes to sew, or she did in the day. And um, it has all these little pattern things. I got this, uh, I don't know when, Daiso has mat board? I didn't know that. I don't think it has it where I am. Hey, Lisa. So anyway, um, I think I might make one for mom out of that after and just bring it up to her. But this one I did as Christmas. It was just some cute little paper I had. So it's very easy and we're gonna go quick, but I have some stuff cut out already. So you could easily decorate it up even more, but I, you know, I just did it to see if it worked and it did. So yeah, I like that sewing one too. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera down and let's get going. Hey, Angela Crocker. Uh, okay. All right, let's get going on this thing. Maybe we need some light here. Stuff everywhere. I also got, and I, you know how I don't care for Halloween, but look what I got because I think I could have fun with this <laughs> and scare the kids. So <laughs> you gotta have fun. All right, wait, let me find the, um, let's find this so I can see if you have questions. All right, so what I did was, like I said, I'm using the chipboard. I already cut one to size. And here are the other dies that this could work with if you have it. If you don't have the notebook, um, you could use that, I think. Um, if you don't have the notebook, you could use the passport book. That one is a little tight, but you could put, well... There, there are ways you could make that work. Hang on, let me, I'm trying to um, get my thing up here. I have too much stuff on my computer. Also, you could use your wrap journal. That would fit right inside here. And you, you could make like a little organizer out of this because you look at all that space you have to, um, why is my thing not coming up? What the heck? I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to have to start all over. Wait a minute. Sorry, guys. All right. And also the folio journal would work. And I have an idea I want to show you for that one. So anyway, if you don't have the notebook, don't worry. It probably will work with another die that you have. All right. Let me see if I can get this. Where are we? Yep, there we are. Okay. So this is the one that I decided to use just because, you know why, honestly, it's an overall pattern and I don't have to worry. I'm just going to flip this around. I'm going to cover my chipboard with my double-sided adhesive sheets, but I think I'm going to trim these down a little because I don't like when the adhesive hangs over. And it's really not that much, but I'm just going to cut a little bit off there. It's a little bigger than six inches sometimes. And this one too. All right, so let's cover our mat board. And you're not gonna believe how fast this goes. Can you guys see okay? Let me put this up a little bit. All right, how's that? Okay, so you will have to watch the rest when you get home. Okay, good seeing you, Chris. Thanks for dropping by. Always good to see Chris. All right, so I'm just taking my double-sided adhesive and I'm putting 
a piece on the front and a piece on the back. Uh, just kind of line it up, press it down, and you can keep these sheets and use them for inking stuff or, you know, all kinds of fun stuff. All right. Okay. You can smooth out these little bubbles. Don't worry about that. There's still, oh, Halloween salad servers idea? Oh, that, that's nice about, Sha um, Maz, I, I read that. Yeah. Oh, this is like the worst thing. All right, why don't I just do this? Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the first side with my wrapping paper. So whichever direction you want to go, just cover that. And then when we turn it over, it's going to go the other way. I'm just going to flip this over on top. Oh, I have to read this again later and see what the Halloween thing is. All right. Okay. And whoops, I'm just going to turn that over, press and fold down. So now we have the paper is Oh, that's even that's pretty good. That's pretty even. So let's trim this stuff off just for the sake of knowing where we're trying to line things up. Plus that'll get all squished when I run it through the big shot. And has anybody watched Ted Lasso? I, I caught up last night at the beach. Our stupid internet wasn't working and I was just dying to see the new episodes. <laughs> okay. So doesn't that look pretty? I know it's kind of glittery. All right, let's get our big shot over here. And here is the notebook die. Now, if you wanted to make pages for it, you could do that. But what we're gonna do today is just insert this little book in there. So you want the right side facing the die, but this doesn't matter because either any way you do this is gonna come out. So I'm just gonna put that on top. I've got my two XL cutting pads. I just like to use them when I'm using a Biggs Large die. You don't have to, but I just like it. I don't worry about, you know, going off track or anything. I have plenty of, you know, I'm just gonna come back that way because sometimes the adhesive sticks a little bit. All right, so let's take that off. Look at that. It's so cute. Our lines are scored right into it. It looks kind of like little rainbows, doesn't it? Except they're all pink. <laughs> um, and the scores are built right in. All right, so let's see what paper pad looks the best here. That one's a little bright. That one's pretty good. And, well, actually, yeah, I think this is the winner. Here's the other one, but I think that's a little bright. I mean, you could use any color in here. Okay. Hey, Violet, how are you? So I'm just going to open this up. And like I said, I found it at Dollar Tree, but you might have to go to a couple to find it. I don't know if it's that school supplies are out and they'll restock them, you know, when the school supplies are done. I don't know, but it's... Um, it was hard to find them. I had to go to three different ones. Okay, now what we're going to do is fold this up. So I'm going to just carefully, I'm going to fold on the two outer score lines, not that one, because I want this pretty thick. Okay. And then we're just going to put this in here. Now, actually, that fits pretty well. So we could do all, um, hmm, that's interesting, because in the other one, I only fit four. How could that be? That's wild. Huh. You know, I might do four because I don't want to stress it out by having to get too thick. Plus, we have to do a little latch for the back. So I'm just going to take this out. 
one of these little pads and the chipboard. And I'll show you what I did with that extra piece if I can find it. Uh, hmm. Well, somewhere. I just made like a little tiny book out of it. Oh, here it is. So I just wrapped a piece, just a little piece of paper over the top. And then I was thinking that I was going to add another piece just to give it a cover because it's getting dirty. And, you know, like a contrasting. I have a stripe that goes with this, so I was going to put that over here. So that's just a nice little notepad that you could put in your bag or whatever. Okay, so we have four here. Yeah, I do like that better. It doesn't feel so, ah, you know, it's too much. So the only other thing that I'm going to do is just make like a little holder for it. And I'll show you how I did this one. Hi, Linda. Sister call. You'll watch replayer. Okay. So I just made like a little uh, belly band here. And I put the back of the cardboard in here. And slid that in. And that's it. That is it. Is that not easy? <laughs> Shannon Lindy has so much to learn. Oh, no. <laughs> well, good. You're in the right place. Okay, so the way that I'm going to do it here, and I may have too much, is I just took another piece of the paper, you know, and turned it over, and then I cut some more double-sided adhesive. I don't think I need that much. So I don't know if that's going to... I'm going to cut it, but we may not use all that because it might get too bulky. But I want it to be strong enough, so I know that I need more than one width of that gift wrap because that's pretty light. But this gives it a little bit of body. So, and then, let's see, let's just... Let's trim this up belly band. So easy. It is easy. I mean, you could use something else too, but you know, this is right here. So, okay, let's just, um, maybe let's score this every, I mean, there's probably another way you could do that, but that came to mind and it worked and it was fast. I mean, you could do a lot of these if you did craft shows. Oh, all right. That's almost a half an inch. So let's just do a couple half inch and fold them into each other. I'll take this adhesive off in a minute. Maybe even just three is fine. Yeah, that should be good. All right, and this is also too wide, but I don't want it too thick. Actually, I might get another one out of this if I I'll just cut it in half here. Well, I kind of had a plan up till now. <laughs> All right, let's just fold that in, fold that over. All right. Yeah, that's good. All right, and then we're just going to kind of slip that in here. And you want to put it right up at the top. Otherwise, you know, if I put it down a little lower, but now this can kind of shake down and come out the bottom. You don't want that. So put it right up at the top, um, right where this is connected to the, the cardboard is connected and fold it over, fold it over. And then we'll just adhere that with a little red line tape. That's what I'm thinking. so we know it's going to stick. And that is all there is to it. Pretty easy. Well, I needed that today. My husband is going to Alaska tomorrow, so I'm trying to kind of help him pack. But you should see this backpack he has. It's like I tried to lift it. It's got to be, I don't know, 70 pounds. I mean, he's got all this gear. He does not like to be cold. So, he's going to the wrong place. <laughs> really. But, he's 
going to be with my son and my son's father-in-law and brother-in-law. So they'll have a good old time. Where'd that thing go? Ugh, I just cannot get this stuff off. I keep breaking my nails. So I have to finish painting while he's gone. Get him to move this huge piece of furniture that we have that I can't move. All right, so this is where you have to be a little bit careful. We're just going to kind of close this in here like that. And there you have your little notepad. Isn't that cute? And I was also thinking I want to put, um, I think over here, like some kind of uh, pen holder because I swear there is nothing worse than having a notepad and no pen. So I'm thinking of maybe some of those um, pencils that I got at Dollar Tree that are the shorter pencils and just using that over here, maybe some elastic through here. I, I don't know yet, but anyway, that is the notepad. Hey Glum, you decided it needed to reboot and update the nerve, jeez. I think it looks really cute and you know they're not post-it notes but they're just kind of shopping list or you know I write lists every day several usually and I try to cross things off but I don't always get to everything but you know gotta keep trying that's the only way I remember anything and it might need a closure so maybe I would do like the um the very simple uh you know, put the hitch fastener and a little loop of elastic, or you could use just a, actually, let me see if I have any pink. I don't think I do, but I might have a white. You know, even something like this, or wait a minute, this is pretty. This is like an elastic lace, stretchy. That's kind of cool. So you could just tie a knot in that and, you know, wrap it around or this very simple let's just do it because I don't know what happened there I probably had tape on it and it got yellowed so just um, you know do you do what you think and then tie a knot I always do it wrong but let's see Maybe it'll work. Uh, it's going to be tight, but it should. Yes, it is called Notebook. Um, this is what it looks like. I, It's going out of uh, production. I have two left in my Etsy store, so they're there. But you maybe could find them. I mean, they're just going out now. So stores might have them. But something like this, so easy. You know. And you could put a cute little charm around there. It's not even bad looking like that. And it works. The only thing is, I like to have it, like, attached somewhere. So I might stitch that or something. Because I don't like to lose these... Uh, you know, elastics, if you take it off, it's like you put it down somewhere. Who knows? Even a rubber band would work. Anyway, yes, easy to take on and off. You have one, too. You have that one. It is a good one. It's so fast to make. I mean, that's what I like about this one. And if you were going to do, like, craft shows or something, you could totally whip these out. You know, just get a good formula for doing it. Cut everything at one time. And then just boom, 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 and knock them out. So you could also use that over here on that one. That would be cute. I did find some of these little cut-aparts that kind of go with that. I, I really like the little, uh, I guess he's like a Santa elf gnome. I don't know what they are, but uh, I thought that was kind of cute just to put a cover on it. And then I thought, oh, you could do like that. I like the idea of the, you could even put one on top. I would probably put white or maybe red. I don't know. It's pretty. 
but I, I don't know if I like that. It's kind of plain. But, you know, I cut a 12 by 12 paper apart, but any of these would probably work, you know, except the ones that go that way. But, ho, ho, ho. Anyway, it's fun to play with them and see and use these little extras. That one's kind of cute. That's cute too, but I think it doesn't stand out enough. That one might work. You know, or even that. So, I don't know. I have to fiddle around with these a little more, but I think what I'm going to do is make a bunch of them. And the other thing that I thought was, okay, say you get a bunch of these and you have one left, you know, you could make kind of a rainbow pad out of the one that's left and take your PVA glue and just rub it across the top and make yourself another pad out of the remains you know, because there's five on each one. So if you did four, you'd have a bunch left. So anyway, I just had so much fun playing with that the other night because I just like getting a bunch of stuff done fast. And it just gives me a good feeling like I did something. And uh, anyway, I like, I, f I like feeling like I did something with my day, you know. So... Yeah, they would be cute little gifts. The size of the pads, let's see. It says three and a half by five. Um, 8.9 centimeters by 12.7 centimeters. There's five to 35, five 35 sheet tablets inside. Wow, that doesn't look like 35 sheets, does it? Wow, well, that's pretty good. These, I just couldn't believe how much difference there was and like that one is you get five for the price of four, you know, so I kind of like that's like a manila envelope. That would be kind of a nice vintage thing if you were kind of inked them up a little. OK, yes, go search for them. Everyone go out and search. <laughs> and Anne Savage, if you find some nearby, let me know, because um, I couldn't find them around here. I went to the one up at Sterling and I think the one in Herndon and didn't see them. So I would love, they do have this blue, which I think is, or they have that and they have this blue, which I think is really pretty, but I only had one of them. So I would love to get more of that or the green. So anyway, you will. Okay. Thanks. Anne. <laughs> we have scouts. <laughs> That's good. So I hope you like this project and I will be back on Thursday. And on Thursday, we're going to talk about the new stamps and if anybody's interested in ordering them. Um, so I don't want to overwhelm everyone, but it happens that there's two sets of stuff coming out at the end of the month. So uh, your local shop, right, had some cute little pastel sizes. Ooh, you know what? Go check on them, Leslie, or Glum, because... Uh, they might fit in a different die, who knows? Or you could configure, you know, maybe there's two sets of post-its that you could do one on this side, one on that side, and you know, I don't know. I mean, work with what, what you can find, because you don't have to get these, but I know a lot of people do have Dollar Trees, but uh, you guys in the UK, if you have anything that is like uh, five inches, you know, like an index card, that would work in here. You could make a, um, I know that we did a uh, another project with an index card. I don't think we use this die though, but anyway, they just fit perfectly. So I really like that. Well, good, Hazel. Thank you. Awesome stamps. Yeah, there's more stamps. Oh, I can't wait to show you them. They're going to be fun. Okay. You want a bundle. Okay. You want it all, Leslie. <laughs> I love Leslie. I love all of you, but Leslie is so enthusiastic. Dollarama. You know, I didn't get to one, Angela, when I went up there. I didn't do a Dollarama. I did, oh, I can't think of the name of it, but I went with Karen Aiken. She took me around, and we went to a couple stores, but I don't know. Does your Sizzix Wrap Journal work in a regular Big Shot? Yes, it does. Yes, it certainly does. I can't see who that is, but yes. Oh, wait, that is... Um, who is that? Um, Shannon. Yes, it does. All right. Okay. Amazon has the writing pads. Okay, Amazon. I mean, anybody can get them. That's good. Next time you're in Vancouver, I'll take you to Dollarama. Oh, yes, I would love it. 
the good dollar store. All right. You know, I do like Daiso, but they're more like a $2 store and they're cool, but they have little stuff. You know, Dollar Tree, you got to say, I mean, a lot of it is made in China, but a lot of it is like, you know, I think that is a good deal for notepad. It's a stack of notepads for a dollar. And if you can put them in a cute little thing like this, it just makes it even better. So that is what I have for today, guys. But I would love to go to Vancouver and go on a Dollarama tour. I would love it. <laughs> so if you guys do find them and you make some, put them up in the uh, Eileen Hall fan club. Put them up there and we can all see and... Uh, you know, be jealous of the good stuff you found. <laughs> and, um, you know, but there has to be more that you can do on the cover of this. I just didn't have time. I, But, um, okay, that's great, Angela. All right. Um, I'm going to go and help my husband pack. But uh, I'll see you guys on Thursday. And uh, I'll have another project because I, I was doing some fun stuff the other night. So um, thanks for coming. And we'll see you again. Okay, take it easy. Have a good week, guys. Bye.